Hi everyone, this is Ramakrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, APSET 2019 Complete Solutions of uh, Complex Analysis from Paper 2. Okay, so your first question is that, that is question number 21 and the question is for any complex number z, sin z is equals to dash and the four options are option number 1 1 by 2i into e to the power ij plus e to the power minus ij option number 2 1 by 2 into e to the power ij plus e to the power minus ij third option 1 by 2 into e to the power ij minus e to the power minus ij and fourth option 1 by 2i into e to the power ij minus e to the power minus ij okay so here we have to find the value of sin z and we know that e power i theta is equal to since uh, e power i theta is equal to the formula is cos theta plus i sin theta okay now we have uh, e power i z is equal to e power i z can be written as cos z plus i sin z okay so we have e power i z is equal to cos z plus i sin z and similarly we have e to the power minus i z is equal to cos z minus i sin z now by subtracting these two we get that is e to the power i z minus e to the power minus i z is equal to we are subtracting these two so symbol this is minus and here is, this is also minus and this is a plus so minus cos z plus cos z will be gets cancelled and here this is uh, i sin z plus i sin z that is 2i sin z so from this we get sin z is equal to 1 by 2i times e to the power i z minus e to the power minus i z okay so we have sin z is equal to 1 by 2i into e to the power i z minus e to the power minus i z that means option number 4 is correct okay is it clear so this is uh, question number 21 okay moving to next question that is question number 22 and the question is any mobius transformation is a composition of dash and four options are option number one translations dilations and the inversion option number two translations and dilations option number three translations and the inversions and option number four dilations and the inversion so this is a question regarding mobius transformation in mobius transformation we have one proportion direct statement so first we will recall that uh, proportion statement so proportion is so standard proportion that is if s is a mobius transformation if s is a mobius transformation then s is the s is the composition of s is the composition of translations translations dilations and the inversions and the inversion of course one some of these may be missing this is a standard uh, proportion in mobius transformation section so by using this proportion that is if s is a mobius transformation then s is the composition of translations dilations and the inversion of course some of these may be missing that means whenever s is a mobius transformation this mobius transformation can be written as composition of translations dilations and inversions okay so by using this proportion we will get the answer as option number one because any mobius transformation is a composition of dash and the option number one is translations dilations and the inversion so by using this proportion we can directly say that uh, mobius transformation is a composition of 
ट्रांसलेशन डायलेशन एंड दि इनवर्शन सो ऑप्शन नंबर वन ईज करेक्ट ओके ना मूविंग टू अनदर क्वेश्चन दट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन इज इफ एफ इज अ मैपिंग फ्रॉम सी टू सी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन टू कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन ईज ए बाउंडेड एंटेर फंक्शन देन एफ इज डैश Okay, this is also standard theorem. That is uh, Lebesgue's theorem statement. So first, we recall the statement of Lebesgue's theorem. So Lebesgue's theorem is uh, so recall the Lebesgue's theorem statement. That is, if F is a bounded entail. bounded entire function then f is a constant so this is the statement of uh, lebesgue's theorem so whenever f is an bounded entire function then f is a constant so here bounded means there exists a positive real number m greater than 0 such that uh, modulus of f of z is less than or equal to the constant capital m and it is an entire function entire function means it is analytic on whole complex plane c so that means f is continuously differentiable on whole complex plane c because here f is a mapping from c to c and that is an bounded entire function so by using lebesgue's theorem statement that f is a constant so that means here f from c to c is a bounded entire function then f is a constant map that means option number 2 is correct by using lebesgue's theorem okay is it clear next moving to question number 24 and the question is the radius of convergence of the power series is dash and the four options are first one is non negative real number second one infinity and third one either option number 1 or option number 2 that means uh, non negative real number or infinity and option number 4 is does not exist so this is also an application of uh, standard theorem so we have a uh, standard theorem in uh, radius of power series uh, power series so first we recall the statement of that uh, theorem so theorem statement is for a given power series for a given power series summation n is equal to 0 to infinity an into z minus a whole to the power n define the number define the number capital r for 0 less than or equal to capital r less than or equal to infinity by 1 by r is equal to limit supremum of modulus of an to the power 1 by n then we have first bit is if modulus of z minus a first condition if modulus of z minus a is strictly less than capital r the series means power series the power series converges absolutely converges absolutely that is first one whenever modulus of z minus a less than r then the series converges absolutely and second one if modulus of z minus a is greater than capital r then terms of the series terms of the series becomes unbounded becomes unbounded and so the series so the series diverges and third bit we have if zero less than small r less than capital r then the series converges uniformly on set of all z such that modulus of z less than or equals to r okay so this is a standard theorem in power series section so by using this theorem 
we can directly say that uh, a given power series radius of convergence of a power series is a non negative real number because it converges absolutely means it converges to some non negative real number and otherwise if modulus of z minus a greater than r then the terms of the series becomes unbounded so means it diverges to infinity so the radius of convergence of a power series is either non negative real number or infinity that means option number 3 is correct is it clear okay next moving to next question so next question is question number 25 question is let f is a mapping from c to c be defined by f of z is equal to z to the power 4 plus 2 z square plus 1 then the set of zeros of f is dash and four options are option number 1 i minus i option number 2 i option number 3 minus i option number 4 i minus i 2 i so we have to choose one correct options from these three sorry from this four options okay so here the given function f of z is f of z is equal to z to the power 4 plus uh, 2z square plus 1 now for our convenience uh, put uh, z square is equal to some x so from this we get uh, this z power 4 plus 2z square plus 1 can be written as this is x square plus 2x plus 1 okay now factoring this uh, quadratic equation we get uh, that implies x is equal to by using minus b plus r minus formula so minus 2 plus r minus square root over b square minus 4ac means b square means 4 minus 4ac means c is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 so square root over 4 minus 4 by 2a a means a is equal to 1 so this is uh, Plus r minus or minus two plus r minus zero by two, which is equals to plus r minus uh, one. Okay, that is x value, but x is equal to z square. That is z square is equal to plus r minus one. That implies z is equal to plus r minus i. So here we have z is equal to plus r minus i, and uh, Here power of uh, highest power is four, so it has at most four roots. So those roots are nothing but the plus r minus i. So the solutions or the zeros of f are the set of zeros of f is set i comma minus i. Okay. so option number 1 is correct is it clear if you have any doubt for example if we take z power 4 plus 2z square plus 1 and here we got z is equal to plus r minus i so this uh, polynomial z power 4 plus 2z square plus 1 can be written as z plus i into z minus i into some second degree polynomial that means quadratic equation so by solving those quadratic equation we will get another two roots as same as plus r minus i so the set of zeros of f are nothing but plus i and minus i okay so this is a solution of question number 25 now moving to next question that is question number 26 so here the question is let f be an analytic function defined on a region capital g and A belongs to capital G means here A is a point that belongs to capital G such that modulus of f of z less than or equal to modulus of f of A for all z belongs to G. Then f is dash and the four options are option number one a non-constant function option number two f of z is equal to f of A for all z belongs to capital G and option number three not differentiable and option number four a Mobius function. So this is a direct statement and that is a maximum modulus theorem statement. so first we recall the maximum modulus theorem statement so this is uh, by using maximum modulus theorem so first we recall the theorem statement and the statement is if capital g is a region capital g is a region and f is a mapping from the capital region capital g to complex plane c is analytic 
that is analytic function such that that is an analytic function such that there is a point there is a point small a in capital G with property modulus of f of a is greater than or equals to modulus of f of z for all z belongs to capital G then f is a constant f is a constant so this is the statement of maximum modulus theorem uh, so statement is if g is a region and f is a mapping from g to c is analytic function such that there is a point a in capital g with modulus of f of a greater than or equals to modulus of f of z for all z belongs to g then f is a constant means here the function f is a constant function so now coming to the question here f be an analytic function defined on a region capital G and A belongs to capital G such that modulus of f of z is less than or equal to modulus of f of a for all z belongs to G. Then f is. So by using maximum modulus theorem, it is a constant function. So that means here we see option number one is a non-constant function. So this is not true. And option number two is f of z is equal to f of a for all z belongs to capital G. That means if we take any z in capital G, image of that element must be maps to A. So that means f of z is equal to f of A. So it represents a constant function. So that means f is a constant. So option number two is correct. That is f of z is equal to f of a for all z belongs to capital G. So these are the questions asked in APZ 2019 complex analysis. Okay, thank you.